Welcome to Al Mu'tasim International School Distant Learning Classes. Good morning, my dear students. How are you all? I hope you are all good and studying regularly. Teacher Aisha welcomes you to lecture number 9. Today is 12th of April 2020. And the day is Sunday. How do you spell Sunday? S U N D A Y. Sunday. Very good. So, students, today we will be doing the picture composition number four. What do we do in picture composition? In picture composition, there is a story that will be given to us and we will read through the story. But in the middle of a story, there will be some points where they put the blank for us to guess what will come there. There will be some blanks inside a story. And besides the blanks, there are some small pictures given to you. Why are the pictures given to you? So you can look at the picture and by looking at the picture, you can guess the answer that is going to come in that blank. Okay, students, are you ready? In this lecture, we will first do a quick recap of lecture number 8. And after we finish the review of lecture number 8, we will start our picture composition. The picture composition on English workbook page number 63 and 64. So tell me students, are you ready? Let's get started. Now students, we are doing the review of our previous lecture, lecture number 8. If you want, you can open your English workbook page number 56. Just pay attention to the screen and to the teacher and repeat after her okay students okay on this first page page number 56 first we had phonics in this section of phonics and words we learn how to blend the sounds of different letters together to form a word and if we learn how to form one word second word third word and we learn finally how to read them then you will be really good at reading so if you want to be good at english reading Always focus on phonics and words portion. This will help you in improving your English reading skills. Okay, students, let's read together. Words with magic E and AI sounds. We are given two sets. The first set of words have magic E in them and the second set of words have AI in them as you can see. The first set had the first word as M A K E makes up which word? Make. Very good. Now in the second word, P L A T E makes up which word? Plate. That's right. Then C A K E makes up which word? Cake. Brilliant. Okay, moving on to our set number two. The first word here is A-G-A-I-N. It makes up the which word? Again. Very good. Moving on to our next word. Let's read W-A-I-T. W-A-I-T makes up what? Wait. Very good. The last one. R A I N Y. This makes up what? Rainy. Very good. Now you are ready to move towards hard words. I hope, students, that you have done this portion as your homework by now. The first word we had was truth. What was it? Truth. T R U T H. What truth means? Who remembers? An act or words or sentences which are true. Remember how we always 
talk about true and false. We often have exercises of true and false in our workbook. True means something which is true. <laughs> and false is the opposite of true. Okay? So, truth means an act or words or sentences which are true. They are called the truth. Okay? As you can see the resemblance between truth and true. They both look and sound the same, right? Because they both have the same meaning. The second word we have here is afternoon. How do you spell afternoon? A F T E R N W O N afternoon. Now what afternoon means? As you all know that in our day, our day starts from the morning, right? In our day, the whole day is divided into some parts. The first part of the day is called the morning when you wake up that's when the day starts in the morning that's the first part of the day and it's called morning the morning part ends at noon time noon time at noon time the morning time ends and after the noon time comes afternoon afternoon starts after 12 pm what is this time? Remember in your school, when do you have your Arabic period? And when do you have your Islamic period? After that Arabic period, your afternoon starts at that time. But when does this time end? Very good. Afternoon ends at evening time. So we can say afternoon is the time from noon till evening. Okay, students? Moving towards garden. That is our third hard word. G-A-R-D-E-N. Garden. What is garden? A garden is a land full of flowers, trees and plants. Okay? Our next word here is fridge. How do you spell fridge? F-R-I-D-G-E. Fridge. A fridge is an appliance that we use usually in our kitchens. That device is plugged into electricity and it keeps our food cold, which keeps it fresh. It stops the food from going bad. Okay, students? Why we want to keep our food fresh? So we can use it again. Okay, students? Our next word here is, let's read together. K-I-T-C-H-E-N Kitchen What is a kitchen? A kitchen is a place where people cook their food. Okay? Number six. Let's read together. T-O-M-O-R-R-O-W It makes up what? Tomorrow. Very good. What is tomorrow? Tomorrow is a day which will come after today. Okay, students? Like today is a day and the day that comes after today is called tomorrow. Okay? Number seven. Let's read F L O W E R S. What's the word? Flowers. Very good. What are flowers? Flowers are a part of plant which is brightly colored and is usually with every plant. Only a few plants have flowers. And this flower is also at the end of a stem. Okay, students? It's the most beautiful part of the plant and we all love flowers. Moving towards our exercise C, which is about right meaning of the following words. There are two words given to us and we have to write their meaning. Let's read through them. The first word is afternoon. What's the meaning of afternoon? Time from noon to evening. Let's repeat. Time from noon to evening. Very good. Garden. What's the meaning of garden? 
a land full of flowers, trees and plants. Are you reading with me? Let's read again. A land full of flowers, trees and plants. Okay, students. Now, please open your workbook, page number 57. Okay. On page number 57, the first exercise we had was write the missing letters. We have some words in front of us. From these words, some letters were missing. And what did we do? We guessed the word first and then we filled in the missing letters. So, number one was, let's read garden. What was our missing letter here? A and E. Garden. Number two, let's read plate. What was the missing letter? A. Number three, what's the word? Cake. And what was the missing letter? E. Very good. Moving towards number four, what was the word? Truth. And what's the missing letter here? U. The last one, what's the word? Flowers. What's the missing letter? O and E. Very good. Garden, plate, cake, truth, flowers. Good. Now moving towards our next exercise, which is the fill in the blanks. There are three sentences given to us. And there are three blanks given to us. We have to fill those blanks. Number one is, Mango Django gave mummy some dash. What did Mango Django give to mummy? Flowers. Excellent. Number two, mummy dropped her dash in surprise. When Mango Django entered through the gate and when mummy saw him first, what happened? She was in a shock and she dropped something which she was holding in her hands. What was that thing? Plate. Very good. Number three. Fizza was telling the dash all the time. What was in the dash? Truth. Very good. Number four. Right, true or false. Number one. Mummy had laughed at Fizza when she told her about the monster. True or false? I repeat, Mummy laughed at Fizza when she told her about the monster. True! Good! Number two, Mango Jango had a towel and some cake. True or false? True! Very good! Number three, Mummy and Fizza made some pancakes. Is it true that Mummy and Fizza made pancakes for the monster? Very good. False. Okay, students. Now, please open your workbook, page number 58. Okay, students. Our first exercise here is G. And it says, write the opposite words. We have to write the opposite words. What are opposite words? Opposite words are the words which have completely different meaning from each other. Okay? So, three words given to us. We have to write their opposite words. And we wrote them. Number one was early. What's the opposite of early? Late. L-A-T-E. Late. Very good. Number two, some. What's the opposite of some? M A N Y. Many. Very good. Moving towards number three, give. Who can tell me the opposite of give? Take. T A K E. Very good. Then students, we had next exercise about answering the questions. There were three questions given to us and we had to write their answers. Question number one is, why did Mango Jango come late? It's easy, right? So tell me, come on. Very good. 
Mango Django came late because it was raining. Question number two. Why did Fizza want to make a cake? I repeat, why did Fizza want to make a cake? Who can tell me? Fizza wanted to make a cake because a monster was coming home. Very good. Number three. Was Fizza telling the truth? Yes! Excellent! Yes, Fizza was telling the truth all the time. Now, students, on page number 59, it was our copywriting. I hope you all wrote the copywriting while also following the rules. And on page 60 was your copywriting also, but it was your homework. I hope you also did that. Now, students, are you ready for our new lecture? Let's get started. Dear students, please open your English workbook, page number 63 and 64. And I want you to write the date on the top of both pages. <coughs> I repeat, please write the date on top of page number 63 and 64. And once you finish the dates, come back to page number 63. I'll also write the date. Today is 12th of April 2020. Alright students, I hope you have all finished the dates. Today we are going to do picture composition number 4. In this type of exercise, what do we do? We always have a story in front of us. It's a good story with a very good moral lesson. You are going to learn a lot. So we are given a story and between some points there are some blanks in between and you have to answer in those blanks but how will you answer them for your help some pictures like this 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 and this all these pictures are given to you for your help so you can look at the picture and guess the answer all right students what you will do you will simply look at the picture and you will try to get the meaning what that picture is trying to say. And whatever the picture is trying to say, there must be a word for it, right? You will write that word in the blank that is given to you. Okay? So, are you ready? Let's get started. Oh yes, one more thing. When we finish filling all these blanks, in the end we will read the story together. Okay, let's go. And please repeat after the teacher. Picture composition number four. The lion and the bear. Now pay attention, okay? Because you will be telling the answers, okay? It was a dash summer day. Now, students, please take a look at this picture. What do you see happening here? Can you see a boy? Can you also see a son? What's happening? He was what? Feeling? With the sun, he's sweating and he's fanning himself because it's what? Very good. It's hot so that's what we will write here okay so let's read it was a hot summer day okay moving on to our next sentence a dash and a dash reached a small dash body for a drink now let's look at the first blank. What do you see in the picture which is next to this blank? What do you see here? Very good. It's a lion. How do you spell lion? L-I-O-N. Very good. We have another blank. What will come here? Let's look at this picture. What is this? Can you name it? A bear. So, how do you spell bear? 
B E A R. Okay. <clears throat> For the next blank, we need to see this picture. What do you see inside this picture? Hmm? It's a water. Excellent. So, what are we right? How do you spell water? W A T E R. Very good. So, let's read the sentence. A lion and a bear raised a small water body for a drink. Very good job. Next one. They began arguing. And dash. About. Who should drink first? After a while. They got tired and stopped for a breath where they noticed dash above. Now we can't understand the meaning right now because we are still filling in the blanks. After filling in the blanks, we will see what this means. Okay? Let's come to this blank first. What do you see in this picture? There are two kids. Can you see these two kids? Now you tell me, what does it look like? What are they doing? Look at the facial expressions. Do they look happy? Angry? Surprised? Remember how we learned to describe our feelings? How, how do you explain this? This expression here in this small picture, what do you see? They are doing what? Fighting! Very good! And fighting. And this is how you spell fighting. How do you spell fighting? F-I-G-H-T-I-N-G Fighting! The next blank, where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. Oh, I found it. Okay. What will come in this blank? For that, we need to look at the picture next to it. What do you see in this picture? It's a bird. It's a big bird. And guess what? Do you know something about this bird? This bird eats dead animals. It's, it's the usual food for this bird. It goes around and it looks for any dead animal. And then these birds eat dead animals. So they're dangerous. What, what's the name of this word? Can anyone tell me? Let me help you with that. Vultures. V-U-L-T-U-R-E-S. Let's read through the sentence. They began arguing and fighting about who should drink first. After a while, they got tired and stopped for a breath. Where they noticed vultures above. Okay, students, can we now move on to page number 64? Please open page number 64. Have you opened page 64? Now write the date on top. 12th of April 2020. Okay. Repeat after the teacher. Are you also putting your fingers as we all read together? Very good. Okay. Soon they realized... That the vultures are waiting for one or both of them to fall to feast on them. The lion and the bear then decided... That it was best to make up 
and be friends then to dash and become dash for dash now in this sentence we need to find out the answers how do we find out the answers we look at the pictures right look at this picture it's repeating it we just answered this type of picture in our last page isn't it so do you remember what was this about yes fight very good f i g h t and become what do you see in this picture i know it's a burger good it's a good answer but can you also tell me that what is this what is burger is it something we drink or is it something we play with or is it something that we eat very good it's something that we eat now you tell me what are the things that we eat cold is it called drink toy or food it's easy very good food what is this food now in this blank what will come look at this picture for that and you have answered this picture before you know it what's the name of this bird very good vultures V U L T U R E S vultures So it looks like that we have finished all the blanks Let's read the sentence The lion and the bear then decided that it was best to make up and be friends than to fight and become food for vultures they drank the water together and go their way after lesson those who strive students there is one small correction needed here can you do it Please take pencils in your hand and write here or fight o r o r f i g h t fight and put an arrow here after strive those who strive or fight are often watched by others to take advantage of their defeat students i hope that you have written this part over here now coming back to page number 63 let's start discussing the story okay once upon a time during a hot summer there was a flock of thirsty animals in the forest and one very thirsty lion The lion walked to a small water body and at the same time a bear also walked to the same water. All the animals were thirsty as it was a hot summer day and everywhere the water was drying up there was not much water to find in the forest. So these two animals lion and the bear they started to argue about who will get to drink the water first. they could not agree they both kept on arguing lion said he came first and bear disagreed he said he came first and this argument led to a huge fight they started to fight after some time they were both tired and they were both severely bruised then at that moment they noticed a flock of vultures hovering above them You know what one vulture said to the other one? 
Look, look at them. The way they are fighting, one of them is bound to die. Today, get ready to have a tasty meal. Ha 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 ha. The lion thought for a moment and said to the bear, If we keep on fighting like this, soon we will be dead and we will become food for these dangerous vultures above. They both then decided that it was best to make up the fight and be friends instead. They drank the water and went their separate ways after. So what's the moral of the story? One must act according to the situation and should learn to compromise. The lesson that is given in our workbook is those who fight are often watched by others to take advantage of their defeat. It means that we should not fight among ourselves. We should not fight with each other. Because if two people are fighting, then the third always takes the benefit. It is important to think in such situations. Because if we do not think, then we will be at a big loss. And there will be the third person watching us fighting and they will come and take advantage of the situation. So if we are all united, if we are all one, if we are all united as we stand, then we will never fall. We will never be in any kind of loss. There is a saying, it, it goes like this, united we stand and divided we fall. So we should not fight among ourselves. We must always act according to situation and we should learn to compromise. Alright students, we don't fight with our people, we don't fight, we become one, like one big family. Okay students, so I hope you learned something from this story and you can now start writing your answers. I'll give you some time on page number 63. Start writing. Students, when you finish your writing, you can also color in these pictures, alright? Now students, I hope you have finished page number 63. Now finish page number 64. Take your time and finish this page. You can pause the video if you want. After you finish this page, then you will go back to page 63 and start coloring with the teacher, okay? Here I have finished my coloring. I hope you also have finished your coloring. Thanks for watching my lecture video. Students, in this lecture we have studied about the story, the lion and the bear. In this story we learned a very good lesson. I hope you all have learned it and then I hope you all have learned a good life lesson and your homework will be to learn the answers. Alright students, see you in my lecture number 10. Bye-bye. Take care.